Quick one, short one here today, guys. Random Eternal Masters pack I picked up. So, as we all know, people say buying seal or singles is obviously your best bet if you want stuff, which is obviously true. That's their that's your safe way. And probably buying booster boxes and then single packs, right? Probably the the most the highest risk, but like with anything, also the highest reward. So we could have you got at least, I guess, a buck probably out of these. Two bucks, three bucks out of each one of these Eternal Masters, even a bad one. But maybe as much as, what do we got? Force of Will Foil, $500. So, we'll see. I got a pretty good box when uh, I got my Eternal Masters box. So we got a uh, single pack here. Let's see what we get. Could be exciting. Cross our fingers. Opens up nicely like that. Nice and clean. So, cards. Undying Rage. We're going to go through each one. Squadron Hawk. Plague Witch. Desperate Ravings. Civic Wayfinder. Memory Lapse. Abundant Growth. Firebolt. Pilgrim's Eye. Tranquil Cove. This will be our first uncommon. Extract from Darkness. Second uncommon, Spirit Noble. I don't think uh, either of these uncommons actually I got in my box. It could be wrong. Don't remember exactly. Mesa Enchantress or Mesa Enchantress, and our rare is crap. Diminishing returns, right? Nothing there. So we got one more chance for a good foil. It's going to be an uncommon, Honden of Night's Reach. Bummer. All that excitement. Nothing. Um, yeah, I don't know what that foil's worth. I think diminishing returns is a couple cents, 50 cents. So that's a bummer. Um, I got another another uh, couple random Eternal Masters packs coming with something I bought. So hopefully we'll get something better on those in the future.